You are with Andrew Hughes. We'll talk some motor racing and, of course, across in Adelaide this weekend. It is the uh, Clipsal uh, race, the opening round of uh, the motor racing season. And, of course, there are many categories of uh, car racing involved in Adelaide this weekend, including our next topic of discussion, the FW1 Aussie Racing Cars, the Super Series. And uh, Brad Ward, the category manager, is on the line. Thank you for joining us, Brad. Oh, thanks very much. It's great to, it's great to be on. Now, just explain to our listeners, because uh, I know the hardened motor racing uh, fans will have their knowledge about each category. Maybe those that follow the V8s themselves will uh, perhaps just focus on that. But explain your category and how it fits into the overall motor racing calendar. Yep, so the uh, the FW1 Aussie Race Car Series is a national series. It's run um, across three states in Australia. Um, and there's a, there's a grid of, uh, of upwards of 35 cars in every race. Um, and it's a, a lot of up-and-coming young drivers that, um, that, that, that join the national series in, in the hope to uh, sort of move up into V8 supercars. So um, the Aussie race cars are on track at Clipsville over the weekend for, um, for about four races. Um, so practice qualifying in four races, and it's, uh, it's, uh, the, the racing and the action is just unbelievable in Aussie race cars because they're small and nimble and fast. So um, it's a great little support category, and, uh, and it's great to be at Clipsville this weekend. So they're, they're, they're about three-quarters the size of the V8, aren't they not? So they're, they're smaller, but they're fast, and does that mean it gives the drivers uh, a bigger decision to make in terms of turning? And I guess if the car's slightly smaller, the gap is bigger to a point that a V8 can squeeze through. So does that provide challenges that people might not assume. Simply they might say, well, they're smaller cars, they're not as powerful, that means it's a, an easier race. But I would imagine you could look at it the other way where it creates a lot more decision-making. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. And, and and they are fast, like they're small, but they're fast. The power-to-weight ratio is really high. Um, and because they're small and it's a big uh, a big, big circuit, the uh, heaps more opportunities for passing, passing moves, the racing's much more exciting, there's a lot more passing um, than you see in other sort of national motor racing series. So um, you're right in what you say. It definitely gives uh, the drivers more opportunity to pass and, and learn racecraft and that sort of thing. So, um, and what that translates into is uh, exceptionally exciting racing for the spectators. The FW, what does that stand for? FW1 um, Aussie Racing Car Series. So FW1 is the our, our naming rights partner. FW1 is a, a cleaning car cleaning product, so it's a waterless car cleaning product. Um, and they're, uh, they're big supporters of the Aussie Race Car Series um, as our naming, naming rights sponsor, and they've also got um, two team FW1 cars racing in the series as well. So with the V8s, it's Holden versus Ford pretty much. Nissan are going to be involved, we know, in a year's time. Your cars are not aligned, though, to the manufacturers like that? No, so the, the Aussie Race Car is sort of a unique concept. It's a, hand, a handmade, um, purpose-built race car for circuit racing. Um, so it's not like something that you'd see on the road. The, the, the body shapes or the body styles are based off uh, Ford, Holden and Toyota styles, um, but they're hand, hand manufactured in our factory in Sydney and, um, and they're, not a, they're not a production car like, like sort of a V8 supercar is. So does that mean uh, before the race each week at any site you could toss a coin, draw every car out of the hat, and the better drivers would still win, or is it? Uh, is there still come down to any tinkering or advantage through uh, different garages? No, it's um, it, it is a one make series, so all the cars are identical. They've all got the same engines. They've all got the same suspension and running gear. So it's very much down to to how good the driver is. Um, and with the racing being so close in the Aussie racing cars, um, it's not unusual for the person that's coming first to be fifth after one or two corners, and vice versa. So they climb in and around and on top of each other and. The racing's really, really close, and uh, and that's what makes it so exciting to watch. We're chatting to Brad Ward this weekend, the Clips or 500. Of course, the V8 supercars are racing, but it's also the uh, first round of the Aussie Racing Cars Super Series. And, uh, Brad, without offending the V8 drivers and their talents, does that mean that your overall champion, again, I'm trying to find the right words here without offending anyone, is that a truer champion because essentially all the cars are similar? Um. I suppose so. It's a lot harder to win in a, a one-make series because you've got the same equipment as everybody else um, and it really comes down to, to how good the driver um, utilises the equipment to win. So um, with all the same engines and mechanical gear and, and cars, um, it's squarely on the driver's shoulders as to, as to how fast he drives it. 
We have four races this weekend. Uh, we mentioned about winning championships. Uh, we have a driver with you that almost won last year. Before we have a chat to Tyler Rowan, just uh, brief myself and others about Tyler Rowan's career so far. So uh, Tyler's been, uh, he, he's done a lot of off-road racing in the past um, and he's an Australian champion uh, in the off-road uh, class of motor racing. Um, but he moved into Aussie race cars about four years ago um, and he's been racing in the category since then. He got a brand new car last year. Um, he, re- he races for the Advan race team, Yokohama Advan, and he finished second. So he's a runner-up and he finished on equal points um, with uh, South Australian Adrian Cottrell. But on a count back, um, he finished second overall in the championship. So he's come back this year. He's got the Advan sponsorship on board and he's looking to uh, to go one better this year and, and win the series. So um, he's uh, he's doing well this weekend and it'll be good to see uh, where he finishes up. Terrific. We might have a chat to Tyler if you could pass the phone over. You're with Andrew Hughes across our racing and sporting network. And we're chatting. We just spoke then to Brad Ward, the uh, category manager of the uh, FW1 Aussie Racing Gars Super Series. And... Uh, Tyler Owen should have the phone with us uh, to have a chat to him as well. Tyler, thank you for joining us. Yeah, no worries. Thanks. Tyler, we just spoke to Brad and got a bit of a rundown about the category and uh, the advantages and disadvantages and the challenges of driving in the Super Series. And I think it's terrific that a, a race is pretty much decided by driving talent with the one make of car. Not that the talent is not there in V8s and uh, Formula One and so on, but... Um, you almost won last year. In terms of uh, last year's championship, what was your best results? Um, we had a couple of race wins last year, just through heats and that. But um, definitely coming equal first in the championship, but got decided on count back that we got put back to second, was um, definitely the highlight of the highlight of the year. Now, four races this weekend in Adelaide. Of a weekend when the V8s and you're following them, is it is four standard or does it differ from site to site and venue to venue? Um, usually they're pretty the same. We have uh, four heat races and a practice and a qualifying session. It not, doesn't usually differ from track to track. So when you arrive at any venue, I guess your aim is to win every race, but then some might say in your garage the first objective is to finish every race and be consistent. So what tells you wins the category and what tells you stands out? Someone who picks up a win here and there and might be totally off the track other times, or is it consistency as well? Um, I tried to take their consistent approach last year and didn't quite pay off. Whereas uh, Adrian, he really took a, a hard approach and tried to win everything he could, and it, it came off for him. So I think this year I'm definitely going to try and take the win win approach and um, not hold back for anything. Is it uh, do stats show how tough the first race compared to the last of the four is to win? Uh, do stats tell us that it's very difficult to win both races? And do stats tell us that you can have a drastically different Sunday to Saturday each time? Um, sometimes it can be if you have bad luck, but usually it's normally the same, similar four to five guys that are up there, but it, it, there's never a chance of counting anyone else out because, like I said, it's, it's a real driver category and whoever's best on the day usually comes out with a prize. The braking of these cars and the, the size and their, their quickness makes for, as we just mentioned there with Brad and the press releases, tell me lots and lots of passing. Does that mean you're a sitting duck to be out in front, obviously, in Formula 1 at most venues, they like to see the pole setter out in front, and that's all she wrote. Most of the times you're in front of the first corner, you win races. Maybe not all the time, but like Greyhound Racing, which we broadcast, it's good to be in front. But in your category, are you a sitting duck to be out in front all the time? Yeah, sometimes you definitely are. Like um, If you're going down the straight and you're in the lead on the last lap, it's probably not the ideal position to be in because you can get slipstreamed really easily and, and lose five positions before you even know it. So it's something you definitely got to watch out for and, and make sure that it doesn't happen. Well, good luck in Adelaide across this weekend, Tyler. Hopefully you can go one better from last year's runner-up in the championship. Well, as you say, on a count back, so close but yet so far. And we thank you and thank you to Brad as well. Uh, Brad Ward and uh, Tyler Owen there joining us from Adelaide where this weekend, aside from the V8s, the Super Series.